Hello and welcome to this next segment from AMS 360. In the title description of this video, you'll find the direct link to our contact page. We welcome your questions, comments, and requests for further content. Thank you for tuning in. Hi everyone, my name is Mike Belanger from AMS 360. In this segment of Zero to 360, I will be discussing how to create tool templates of your favorite tools and then how to import them with the click of a button from your custom tab. Many users have a tool library that they pull tools from on a daily basis that represents actual tools that they have in their carousel. But often these tools can get a bit cluttered and be a lot to sift through. So what I've done in the past is actually pull my favorite tools from the library for a specific operation. As you can see, I've pulled in 10 of my favorite tools here and save them off into a template. Now, it's very important to remember that when you are saving a template, you need to have a fresh session of PowerMill open to do this because when you save this template, it will pull in any other entity that you have in PowerMill. So if you have a boundary, pattern, work plane, anything, it's gonna save it along with the template. So in this example, as you can see, I only have a list of tools here. I will go up to my file tab, which is the backstage area. I will choose to save as template object. Now this template object is going to be saved into um, a folder on your computer or possibly on the server somewhere that you know uh, your files will be safe from being deleted. There we go. Simple as that, I have the tool template saved. Now, if I delete this, close my session of PowerMill, sure, it's very easy to import template objects and then from that folder once i search to it on my computer double click and then import my tools as you can see the list just came in right here but i want it to be just a little bit easier by creating a macro and having that macro pull the template in with the simple one click of a button so let's start over here I'm going to start by recording my macro. I will save this as whatever name I choose. Once I hit save, the macro starts recording. I will very simply import template object, grab my tool template, and have it imported. Click the record button again to finish the recording of the macro. And we can see we have our tools there. Once again, I'm going to delete those tools and jump into my custom ribbon. With my custom ribbon open, I will go to my favorites tab, create a group, and in that group, I am going to create a macro button. Okay, search to the macro wherever it's saved, right here. And if you wish, you can assign a icon to it as well, either one of the stock ones or a custom icon if you if you wish, okay? I'll just choose this icon for right now. Once I add that button to my new group and click OK, you can see I have no tools in my uh, tool explorer right now. When I go to my tab and click that button, I simply have all of my tools imported that I wish. Templates and macros can help speed up the process of your day-to-day -day activities. They can also help newer users get more function out of the software quicker. Thank you for watching. 
please click the subscribe button or follow our social channels to stay connected. You can also use the direct link to our contact page in this title description.